Well, today, Metro Shelby County Schools began their 155th year of fresh start with new goals. But with Dr. Joris Ray on paid leave while he's being investigated for violating district policy, these deputy superintendents will be leading the way to make sure the school year gets off to a good start. Here's Brad Broders with their goals for day one. This is the first day of the best school year ever. A new year brings new optimism for Memphis Shelby County Schools leadership as the district looks to carry over and expand on some state test score improvements made last year. We've always been a very tight team behind the scenes, meaning that we're always talking about the next man up. Deputy Superintendents Dr. Angela Whitelaw and Dr. John Barker laid out their academic expectations Monday morning while they crisscrossed the district. That included leading a tour of Germantown High School with Tennessee Education Commissioner Dr. Penny Schwinn. We've added some extra responsibilities. I think the beginning of the year is always a pressing time for us because we want to make things right for students and families. The district's co-leader said by the year 2030, they want to get 70% of MSCS students performing math at grade level and 74% reading at grade level. We believe that literacy is the backbone for our district. It is the jumping off to all of our subjects. And, and we do know that we have moved uh, our students. Are we satisfied? No, but are we encouraged? Yes. Dr. Whitelaw said this year the district is also focusing on more two teacher kindergarten to second grade classrooms and enhanced algebra one curriculum and an academic support class in every high school. We're really focusing on students that are struggling uh, and making sure that we put them in the front and that we work with them in small groups. Monday afternoon, MSCS parents weighed in on the goals. I'm excited and all we can do is just take one day at a time, you know, and just make sure that the kids get the uh, understanding and the um, materials that they need. Same with today's time, they're, they're trying to prepare these kids more academically than, uh, than before, but you know, just going with the times. Around 140 teacher vacancies remain for Memphis Shelby County Schools. Those classrooms will be covered for now by either certified teachers from the central office or certified substitutes. In East Memphis, I'm Brad Broders.